Hi, this is Brian with King Grizzly, and I want to show you today how I handle landing pages, sales pages within Elementor and WordPress. I don't use the regular Elementor landing pages feature, and I've got reasons for that, which I'll go into. Uh, but I want to show you how anyone quickly can use a custom post type plugin to set up a landing and sales pages tab where you can build as many sales pages as you want using the Elementor Builder doesn't clutter up our normal pages directory. Clients really like this because they can run ad campaigns through these pages. They're often not linked from the main menu. So let's just jump in and I'll show you how I do it. So first, Elementor does under Elementor settings, it does have a landing pages feature. If I go to experiments, I can turn on uh, this landing pages feature. And what happens if I save it is under templates, then we have a landing pages tab. This is pretty slick, right? Um, the problem is it's not working well right now. Um, there seems to be a bug. At, you know, as of recording this video, there's some kind of a bug. Depending on your permalink structure or version of Elementor, th this may 404. But also, you know, it's kind of the landing pages are tucked under templates. Uh, for clients, I don't know. I, I actually like to have my own tab. Since this isn't working great right now, I'm going to show you what I like to do. So let's go to plugins. We get one free plugin. CPT space UI. And you'll see uh, when this refreshes, custom post type UI, it's free, has over a million installs. This allows you to build custom post types. It's fantastic. It works well with advanced custom fields. So I install it and I activate it. We're going to get a tab down here. I'm going to click on CPT UI and we want to add a new type of post. So I am going to add a new post called landing page. This would be the slug, uh, but I'm going to overwrite this. Maybe I'll just put landing. Um, it's it's going to convert it to lowercase. So if I were to type landing, it I typed a capital L and it, it went down to lowercase automatically. That's okay. And if you type a space, it's going to change it to an underscore. That's fine. Plural label is going to be landing pages. <clears throat> and singular, I'll just put um, landing page. Then what I'll do is I click this uh, populate additional labels based on chosen label. What that does is it takes my, my word here and it's going to build out like all of the menu options, terminology that we're going to see. I'm going to click this. So it'll pre-populate uh, my, my menu to use this terminology. You'll see once we, we save it. So I get rid of the word my under menu name. I don't like to say my landing pages. I just put landing pages. So most of this we can ignore. Uh, the couple things you're going to probably want to change is, uh, let's see, there's a lot here, right? So it's a little overwhelming. I don't, you could exclude it from search. Like if you don't want your landing pages coming up, you might set that to true. Uh, it, it, this would be inside of your WordPress site, right? Um, hierarchical, uh, I don't need mine to have a parent-child relationship. Um, but what I might want to do is this will put your, your permalink or your URL structure in front of it. I may not want that. So for my landing pages, I think I might just, it's going to go with the slug from the top, which was landing. But I might just put for me LP. So it'll be like is my site name slash LP and then the name of the page. I'm okay with that. You can put, you can name it whatever you want or you can go with the slug from the very top. I can choose whether I want this to show on the menu, yes. Where do I want it in the menu? If I give it a number, it can move it up or down uh, the options here on the left. And then I can choose an icon for it. Um, so if I choose a dash icon, I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm just kind of looking, you know, what are my options here? Uh, maybe to me, okay, that, that, might, that might look work well. Or you can upload a custom image. What do you want that post to support? Since we're going to use the visual elementor editor, you can probably leave this by default. Although I like to add an excerpt. I also like to turn on a revision history. Um, you can fiddle with these, but that's probably okay for me. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm going to hit add post type down here and you'll see over here on the left, it's going to appear. Look, landing pages. It's got my icon. And now I can add pages. Now, if I were to go here, if I go to view all landing pages, there are none yet. And if I hit Add New, you'll notice you can't edit it with Elementor. So if I click on Add New, it's going to pull up the Gutenberg editor. And this is fine, right? So this would be like test landing page. However, I want to be able to edit this with Elementor. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Um, but let's go back to the dashboard. What we need to do is hop over to Elementor. And then, uh, <laughs> look at this. Uh, 
I have two landing pages here. This is because I was testing this out beforehand and forgot to clear something out. Um, so you should only see one, um, but I'm going to go ahead and make the editor available on these post types. Um, you should only just see one landing pages. Um, I, I did something goofy, I think. Um, so make sure you turn on the editor, save changes. Then if we go back to our landing pages and I click on this, I should have the option to edit with Elementor. Ah, now the button's there. Edit with Elementor. I click on that. Now I can build a page as normal. I can choose to, so if this is a landing page, see I was doing some experiments with my, my header, right? But I, if I click on the gear in the bottom left, all my pictures in the way, um, I could change the page layout to canvas to get rid of my header and footer, right? Because this is a landing page. So now I've got a totally blank slate. So then I can build whatever I want. So I'll just put in a, a test here. Just to prove this works, I'm going to update this. Okay, uh, so I saved it. So now what I'd like to do is I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I want to just see the URL for my landing page that I just made. And then we'll have done it. We'll have made a custom post type. I'll go back all the way out to the dashboard. Okay, so what happens if we view this? Scoot this down. You can see my dev sandbox, but look at this. Uh, LP for landing page, and then the name of the slide. So it works great. I've got my custom URL. The LP, in my opinion, doesn't matter. I'm not necessarily going for SEO. So I can now set up tons of these landing and sales pages. And one last thing, um, you may not want the search engines to be indexing these. So you probably want some sort of like an SEO plugin. I don't have one installed at the moment. What I would do is install something like Yoast or SEO Press, and then they have an option where you can tell the search engines not to index these pages. So I would I would go to edit or edit with Elementor, depending on the plugin, and scroll down. And so some of the SEO plugins, you have to go to the edit view. And then if you scroll down, there'd be a bunch of boxes down here where you could say don't index this in the search engines. Or if you click edit with Elementor, some of the like uh, SEO press, they actually have a bar on the left where you can set things like that like hey don't index this so that's up to you um, but that's the gist of setting up a custom uh, post type for landing pages curious uh, what people think if this was useful please consider subscribing to our channel for more elementor content thanks